The Warriors are already planning to relocate to San Francisco next season. Now they say they will also move out of their practice facility in Oakland. Nightbeat's Chris Nair is on what the team envisions for that building. Tonight, the Golden State Warriors announcing they're not just leaving Oracle Arena, they're also leaving their downtown Oakland practice digs and turning them into a community center. You heard it here first the Warriors are not leaving Oakland. <laughs> Well, not exactly. The team is packing up next season, leaving Oracle for San Francisco's Chase Arena. For months, questions have swirled about what will happen to this, the sprawling facility in Old Oakland where the team practices. Now we finally know. Well, we saw a real opportunity to repurpose it in a way that would be a real demonstration of our ongoing commitment to Oakland, and that's what we got to announce today. Starting early next year, the practice facility will be known as Generation Thrive, a center for youth basketball camps and health and fitness programs. It's an amazing um, opportunity to, like you said, to keep our footprint here in Oakland, to do amazing things for the next generation of kids that look up to us. The offices will serve as a home base for a number of Oakland nonprofits. There will be educational programs, college and career counseling, and health and wellness resources. There's a lot of uh, amazing resources here that they can kind of, you know, uh, take part in. That's not to say there aren't some hard feelings. When Warriors star Clay Thompson seemed to criticize Oakland fans for failing to cheer during last night's loss, Oakland City Council member Rebecca Kaplan lashed out on Twitter. Warriors owners chose to ditch the fans for a location that is expensive and harder to get to. She tweeted, owners abandoned us. <laughs> And on a basketball court half a mile away from the practice facility, kids we spoke to in Oakland said as much as they like the idea of a health and education center, it's just not the same as having their heroes right down the street. It's kind of sad that they're moving to SF. But once they leave, I don't know. I wouldn't really feel like they're a part of Oakland anymore. I mean, there's no substitute, obviously, for playing the actual games uh, in Oakland, but in terms of... You know, what they can look forward to to being a part of the organization. A lot of good is going to come out of this, this particular building. In Oakland, Kristen Ayers on the Night Beat.